Hello everybody, Sandeep here again. Welcome to our channel eConstruct Design and Build Private Limited. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basic branches of the engineering. What are the basic branches? The first basic branch or the first branch which has arrived is the civil engineering. Second basic branch which is mechanical engineering. And the third basic branch is electrical engineering. Many a times you would have seen that the first three basic branches, there is a limited amount of scope is there compared to the IT, compared to the computer science or machine learning or AR, VR, whatever things are happening. Why these three basics are facing a lot of problems related to the employment? First of all, I would like to tell you that we have misunderstood these three basic engineering you know, branches. For fundamentally, I would like to tell you these are basic branches, the fundamental you know, mother branches of engineering. This gives the robust support for all the other branches. Without electricity, how are you going to play with the computers? Without a civil engineering or without your house or office, how are you going to run your businesses? So these are basic branches. You need to see that. For the basic branches, you require the initial feeble frequencies will be there and then the higher frequencies means the higher you know, rate of returns would be there. Initially, you know, the graphs of a basic engineer starts with the very less amount of money or returns. But over the period of time, you cannot imagine the kind of returns that you guys would be addressing or you guys can get it. Many a times people are saying that once you go to the computer science, actually you'll get, you at least will get this much package and people are getting that much package. But up to what time? Believe me that up to, up to the 40, 45 or maybe maximum 50 years of age, that's the lifespan of a computer engineer, coder particularly. After that, he will not have that kind of mindset to develop or do the take out the bugs and write certain programs with the logic. Every time the mindset will go into the logic, but over the period of time, 45, 50, maximum 50 years, all right, I have seen so many directors, I have spoken with them. After 50 years, you know, people are not able to work as a coding person, as a mainstream liner in the computer science. They will work as a management people, but you know, there also there is a limited scope. When it comes to the real coding language or real coder, I'll, I'll tell you very honestly, up, up, up from the age of 50 actually, the, the graphs completely diminishes. Whereas civil engineers, whereas mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, basic branches, as you grow up, your expertise, your understanding, your perception related to the project solving, related to the critical thinking would be comparatively very high and you will get a lot of returns. Many a times, civil, mechanical and electrical engineers, they are facing this problem because they cannot see certain things as a long term. These three basic branches are a long term investment. There is a huge amount of invest returns are there over the period of time. Let's say, for example, structural engineering. Till the last breath, if you are able to walk, if you are able to understand certain things, and if you are having certain physical exercises and all, if you keep your body fit and fine, believe me, till the last breath, you can, you know, design the structures. You know, you can do the value addition to the structure. You can do the checking. You can uh, checking of the drawings. Even, you know, through the video conferencing and all, actually you can, uh, you know, take out the mistakes which are happening on the site by appointing the site engineer. Many, many people are doing that. I have seen that some people, uh, even 65, 70 years of people or so, they are doing the structural engineering. They are also managing the projects very fluently, very practically. So, when it comes to the basic branches, the scope is, you know, comparatively quite higher. If you see that civil engineering, the kind of scope that we are having, 60 lakh crore plus, that much amount, believe me, if there is a recession, people, the, the government has to pump the money in the construction era. Forget about that. If, you know, that everybody was sitting at home during the COVID period, only one thing was starting, which was working on, which is construction sites. Even the government could not stop the construction because it was hampering the entire cash flow of the country. Many people sitting at home, they will not be able to, you know, manage how, how we can feed our families. All right. So this particular branch, which is construction, which is infrastructure, basic branches, it's like no dying. There is no end. Uh, till the time the humanity is there, these three branches are perennial branches. No, no dying. I mean, it will, it will not die. 
other things, let's say Y2K problems, this problem, that problem, balloon, many, many things, many people, they are saying that, you know, the, the machine learning and AI is going to take away these many jobs, these many jobs. There are so many uh, clerical or non-technical jobs are there in, into the, uh, you know, uh, many of the IT companies, they are completely taken it away from, from the developers and printers, uh, from the developers and the software, uh, you know, people. Believe me, in those kind of uh, disciplinary line, let's say for example computer science, on every single day or weekly or maybe every moment you need to update yourself. Whereas in the structural engineering, whether where, you know where you are there into the mechanical or civil engineering, basic branches, whatever the technology is there, you can do a lot of simulation, you can take so many critical thinking and the paths, different different types of projects and the critical uh, you know areas and such kind of knowledge and expertise you can work about it means what there is a lot of potential is there in the basic branches which is not tapped all the other branches i would say that all the computers and many many other branches are standing on the roots of these three basic branches all right so this is the time that we should invent or we should invest back go back to these basic areas let's say for example in india the, the infrastructure there is a huge amount of problem is there all right see let's say for example this is the highest populated democratic country or populated country in the world with the least amount of infrastructure obviously the, whenever you are naming the infrastructure civil is the mainstream line you need to pump a lot of money there all right if you see the infrastructure which is there in the competitive other countries like china or you go to europe or america or australia you go to uae a lot of develop these de countries they have developed so well that a lot of infrastructure is there compared to whatever the population is there you know the kind of infrastructure they have built was is really robust in India, it's really lacking and we engineers need to work upon it. And I'm sure that over the period of time, we will definitely be a developed country. Another problem is you will see the environmental. Most of the, most of the cities, you know, let's say the New Delhi, Bangalore, these cities are, you know, the most polluted cities in the world. So air pollution, where this particular problem is there. Air pollution, which disciplinary line this air pollution is belonging? Civil engineering, environmental engineering. So infrastructure, environmental, water resource. You know, you can see that, you know, Pune city, a lot of flood has come. Bangalore, no water, few days back, few months back. Uh, uh, if you see that, uh, you know, so many places in Bihar and so many other places, you will see that too much amount of flood is there. Every year, you know, Ganga River, Brahmaputra brings up so much of water, there is no space for the land. All right, so much of flood. So some places there is no water, some places there is a huge amount of water. What the heck is happening? We are not able to solve the water problem in our country. So water resources, hydraulics, which, which subject? Again, the civil engineering. So, so many different, different subjects. The problems are there. We are not able to tap those problems based on the engineering line, based on the disciplinary line that we are talking about. All right, so many, many areas. If you see that e even the, the infrastructure that is related to the automobile industry, a lot of, you know, development is happening across the globe, but in India, actually, it is happening comparatively very slowly. So there is a revolutionary pattern that we need to bring it up. We need to change so many things. And for that, you require to upscale yourself. To, for that, you require to have the knowledge and expertise. There is a huge amount of scope. Believe me, every single day, we are getting 10 to 15 jobs. People are asking that you give me these people where we can give you the jobs and we do not have those many people to feed in. All right, we are having comparatively quite limited number of students that we train in our company. That's why, you know, it's not a miracle that we claim that we give you 100% placement because we have so many jobs than the students that we generally train. All right, which company, which industry, which particular college or discipline gives that kind of robust confidence that whatever the people who are taking the admission in our company, we give 100% job placement. That is not happening anywhere except the e-construct. All right, so let us join back to these three basic lines. Let us upscale our knowledge and let us give the robust, you know, economy to our country. Join e-construct. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.